and we are in line 11. But my people would not heed my voice, and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. Wow. So looking at, 11, looking at line 11, but my people would not heed my voice, and Israel would have none of me. It's just like they turn a deaf ear to God. And so when they cried out to God, when they were in bondage, God delivered. And now God is, is, is given uh, statutes and laws and testimonies. And it's like they don't hear God's voice. We want God to hear us. But do we want to hear God? Are we listening for his voice? He's a jealous God. We cannot put things ahead of him. And then how they, they sacrifice to demons. Those demons didn't bring them from bondage. Sacrificing to, to gods that, that are dead. They didn't bring them through the Red Sea. How easily we forget when God has done things in our lives. We do that. Because we're so bent and focused on our current situation that we forget to look back what he had done for us in the past. We have to look back. We have to look back. And Lord God, forgive me for not looking back. Line twelve. I mean, yes, line twelve. So I gave you. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart, to walk in their own counsels. Now this sends us to to Acts seven forty two. And this is Stephen. He's preaching before they killed him. He was yeah. He was preaching to the council. And so it says, uh, then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven as it is written in the book of the prophets. Did you offer me slaughtered animals and sacrifices during 40 years in the wilderness? O house of Israel, yes, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your God, Remphran, images which you made to worship, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. All right, and so that just says that you know for that one, and then um, okay, all right. Let's go back to Psalm uh, eighty-one, and it says, um, "But my people would not heed my voice, and Israel would have would have none of me." So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. And that's a shame. And that um, sends us to, yeah, Acts 7, 42 sends us to 2 Thessalonians 2.11. I knew I was something I, I forgot. 2 Thessalonians 2.11 that says, And for this reason God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And so that right there sends us to Romans 132. Romans 132 that says, well, that starts off um, as a continuation. So basically, um, let me see. Let me go ahead and just read uh, Romans 1, 24 to 32. And then we'll, we can elaborate it on, on it um, in the next segment. But just so we can have this. It says, Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness and the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions, 
for even their women exchange the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burnt in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to, the deba to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual morality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. There are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, and this is line 32, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but also approve, approve of those who practice them. And so we'll elaborate on it in the next segment.